Can fenbendazole and ivermectin be used together for cancer? If you're exploring new and innovative approaches to cancer treatment, you might have come across the names fenbendazole and ivermectin. These antiparasitic drugs have been making waves in the medical community for their potential anti-cancer effects. Let's break down what we know so far. First, let's look at fenbendazole. Traditionally used to treat parasites in animals, fenbendazole has shown promising results in laboratory and animal studies for its anti-cancer properties. It works by interfering with the energy metabolism of cancer cells, reducing glucose uptake, and destabilizing microtubules, which are essential for cell division and structure. Ivermectin, another antiparasitic drug, has also demonstrated anti-cancer effects. It is known to inhibit cell proliferation, induce cell cycle arrest, and increase the generation of reactive oxygen species, ROS, that can lead to cancer cell death. Ivermectin has been studied in combination with other cancer treatments, such as gemcitabine, and has shown to enhance the anti-tumor effects significantly. Now the question is whether these two drugs can be used together for cancer treatment. A recent study suggests that combining ivermectin and fenbendazole with other natural compounds like vitamin E, curcumin, and CBD could be beneficial. This combination has been shown to modulate cancer pathways, enhance the immune system's ability to detect and target cancer cells, and support cellular repair processes. However, it's crucial to note that while these findings are promising, the evidence is still largely based on laboratory and animal studies. There is currently no reliable evidence to support the use of ivermectin and fenbendazole as cancer treatments in humans. Clinical trials are necessary to validate their efficacy and safety in people. In summary, while the combination of fenbendazole and ivermectin shows potential in addressing cancer at multiple levels, it is essential to wait for the results of rigorous clinical trials before considering these drugs as viable cancer treatments. Always consult with healthcare professionals and rely on evidence-based medicine when making decisions about your health.